Hey, uh, Oceanside Mike here. Uh, let's walk inside the shop. I've got something to talk to you about today, uh, and it's about keeping a fishing log. I hope you can see this pretty good here. This is just a regular tide chart. As you can see down this side right here, this is where I keep up with my big flounder. There's several five, six, seven, seven, five. I took my neighbor fishing. Uh, Bill, he caught a six and a half. Took my lady fishing. She caught a seven. Caught another five. And you can see about when I started here. Let me see if I can get in here. So, uh, okay, there you go right there. So you're talking about the 23rd of April all the way over to the 15th of May. Um, I've got the water temperature down there. It was 63 degrees when the bite started. Now I was fishing all those other days out of my kayak and uh, was only ending up with one or, uh, you know, two fish per day until they started biting. And once a bite would come on, it was 20 fish a day and a lot of keepers. Uh, another thing I want to talk to you about <clears throat> is uh, the type of hook that you're using. Um, a lot of anglers are minnow fishing or live bait fishing. And they're fishing with a kale hook, something like that. <clears throat> or either they've got these one out hooks. These are getting popular. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. Uh, the only problem is that you have with those type of hooks is uh, the golden rule for flounder fishing is you need to wait 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds before you set the hook. Well, those fish swallow that. Flounder's got a hard mouth. They're hard to hook. So a lot of people just let the fish swallow the bait, swallow the hook. So if they're catching 29 keepers, uh, 10 of them's dead. They're hooked in the gut. They're not going to live. However, if you use a circle hook, now this is a big one here. This is an 8 out hook. This is what I fish with croakers with. Uh, it's a circle hook. If that flounder swallows that hook, you can see the way that hook is bent. The, this will not hook in the fish's gut. Uh, same thing with this one. This is the size I use for minnows, and it will not hook in the fish's gut. And uh, when the fish swims off with it, it just pulls right in the corner of his mouth, and you don't kill any fish. Um, we got to save some of these fish. It's getting more and more popular, um, and people are just catching these fish, and they're killing them, and you can't keep them. Uh, so it's just a waste of fish. You know, change your hook. Um, I know they look don't look like you could hook a fish on them, but I promise you, uh, you won't have any gut hook fish. They'll all be hooked right in the corner of their mouth, just where they're supposed to be. No more setting the hook, no more guessing. Just let the fish swim off with it. So I uh, hope that helps and hope you can save some fish for us. And uh, let's try to keep some of them alive. Oceanside Mike, I'm out.